Okay, I've been doing live streams for the last few weeks using StreamYard. Hope you're all having a good week and uh, thank you for joining us again once again for Snowmobile Sessions. How was your week, yeah. Bobby? Not too bad. StreamYard is a great tool for doing live streams direct to YouTube. I won't get into that. I assume you found this video because you already know what StreamYard is. I also assume you found this video because you know what a Sony FDR X3000 action camera is. I won't go through any details on that. It's just a rock solid awesome action camera that shoots 4k i've been frustrated because i didn't like the video quality that i get from the macbook pro and worse is the audio quality you get from the macbook pro so i was scouring the youtube world to see if i can actually use the sony fdr as a live cam and there isn't really a whole lot of details out there i will say right off the bat this little splitter thing i bought off of amazon does not work tried everything for it don't waste your money there so what i whittled it down was i took a chance on connecting my system and it worked so it starts with the video capture grabber card and basically it's a little it's a little tool that comes like this it's got a usb output HDMI output so if you want to loop it to the TV and then we've got an input for the camera system you're using as well as a DC 5 volt output so we won't use that today but I'll just show you to hook up the Sony action cam you really just need a deluxe computer component cable which I'll actually post the link in the description find out from your camera whether you're using a DSLR or a Sony action cam like this or even a GoPro this is a Hero 3 Plus it works look at the the HDMI output connection so this one is a micro HDMI you plug it into the camera like so then the HDMI this is your traditional HDMI end it goes into the input side of the grabber box right and then the last the next cable that you pull out of the grabber box is it's just USB to USB it plugs into the USB output like so and then if you have a newer if you have an older MacBook Pro that'll plug right in but if you're using a newer MacBook Pro like I am that only has the USB-C, you need a USB-C adapter like this thing here I'm showing you. It goes on the end like that. It'll plug in to the computer. So now when I power on the, the Sony Action Cam, you should see in here, it'll, it's got a live indication on the bottom. I'm just going to go back to StreamYard. I'm going to enter the broadcast studio. And when you enter the broadcast studio, you right now it's directly connected. So you can see, hopefully you can see on the screen there, I'm moving this around. There I am. But if you don't have that right away, you can actually set the settings here. We have FaceTime camera is a camera on the on the computer so there I am you can just select USB video and it takes the the output from the video source so that's as simple as it gets then your audio you can have your choice of a microphone so you can use the built-in microphone on the camera if you set it to the USB or hopefully you can see my Rode video microphone I can plug that into the back and now I've got audio coming up from the Rode video microphone through the camera into the MacBook and streaming live to YouTube. So it sounds amazing. And if you want to use a lapel microphone to clip on your shirt like this one here into the Sony action camera, what you need is this kit. The link is in the description. It comes with different color phone covers, uh, the clip, the microphone, and this little adapter that changes this cord from TRRS to TRS in there that goes in the back of the action cam like so and that is how you use the lapel microphone with this setup and then the speakers where do you want to get your sound from what I do is you can select your default which is the internal speakers on the MacBook or I use these little future plus wireless ear pods I've done two to three hour live streams and the batteries stay charged on these once these are connected you'll hear right channel left channel 
you can go up to your Bluetooth settings up here. I am connected. And then I can go down to speaker and you'll see Future Plus Bluetooth. I select those. So now I can just enter the broadcast studio. You see this mic is picking up my voice. It's not the mic down here. I enter broadcast studio. I can add myself to the stream and here we go. So it works really good. That's as simple as it gets. Now one caveat is the power on this is only lasts you the length of the battery. So then what do you do? Well, I've got an anchor battery pack and the charge cable, which plugs in here. So I plug in that and you, hopefully you'll see on the screen there, we've got batteries full on this one, but as soon as I plug it in, a little icon comes up that shows you its power. So that battery will last me all day, or take this and plug it right into the wall. And there you go. You have a nice little 1080p action camera using it. Now let me show you how to use it on your GoPro. I just plug this into the HDMI output. It happens to be exactly the same as my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I power this on, and there I am. You can actually go into your settings and shut off all the graphic clutter that's on there, but that is the uh, GoPro Hero 3 Plus streaming now as the action camera. So there you go. Hopefully that helped you out. I know I'm just doing a little test of the microphone that's built into the MacBook Pro, as well as the, the front-facing camera on the MacBook Pro. This is a test of the Sony camera using as a live stream device and using the built-in microphone on the front of the Sony camera. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my lapel microphone. Just want to make sure the microphone is set to the USB digital audio microphone. The speakers are set to my wireless ear pods. And this is the test of the lapel microphone and the Sony camera. And one last check here. This is now the Rode video mic connected into the back of the Sony camera and using the Sony video. That's simple. To recap, let's look at the components you need. Starting with the camera. In this case, we use the Sony FDRX3000 action camera. But you can use anything from your DSLR, your GoPro Hero, or any other camera capable of exporting video through an HDMI out. Like you can use a lapel microphone like this one, or a Rode video mic like you see here. I prefer the Rode video mic for sound quality, and they range anywhere from $90 to a few hundred dollars depending on the quality you want to hear. We have an extension cable for your microphone source, so this you could plug in either the lapel microphone or the Rode video microphone. We have the Joby Gorilla Pod, which is great for mounting your microphones to or any camera equipment. So you might want to pick up one or two of these depending on how you want to go. You can use a Mac AirPod, but these things are amazing. They last me a few hours, two and a half to three hours on a full charge. The case is a charging case and the sound quality is, I find them way better than, than uh, the Apple AirPods for a fraction of the price. This is an Anchor Power Pack. It has a mini USB and a regular USB, ones for charging in and ones for power out to your device. Power out to your device is by a cord like this or charging the Anchor Power Pack and it's a mini USB and a regular USB cable. If you want to plug in your MacBook to a external monitor to run two monitors during your streamcast, you can use this. It's a USB-C to a HDMI. Simply plug that in your MacBook, plug in your second monitor, and voila, you have two monitors on the go. If you don't have a USB connection on your computer, like my new MacBook Pro, then you will need this. It will be the USB-C output with a USB regular input on it. And that is what you plug your grabber box into. Lastly, we have the grabber box. 
the USB output here goes to a computer, the second monitor output or output to a TV if you're looping for gaming is here. And then your input device is HDMI. You pull that from your camera to the input on the grabber. This is a charging port to your camera or any other device. You don't need to power this box up. And then lastly, we have the cable, which goes from the camera to the grabber box. So you wanna make sure you check your camera. In this case, it's a micro HDMI with a regular HDMI end. That's gonna go from my Sony camera or my GoPro, and it goes into the grabber box input on this side and life is good. This is pretty much all you need to turn your action camera, your DSLR, or any other camera that's capable of outputting an HDMI signal through a cable, and you're ready to go with professional quality output on your next StreamYard or Zoom live stream. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and click that like button on the way out.